Hi, I'm Ed Trout from Prophetic Life Ministry, coming to you from San Antonio, Texas. We are on YouTube doing our dream series once a week, giving you insights and little teachings here and there, scripturally, and certain insights that, as I mentioned, to help you in your journey on and using the dreams that you have more effectively. The dreams are from God and as always has been, but we dream on average six to eight dreams a night. We wake up and whatever's attached to our dream, whether it's emotions or reaction or lots of thoughts, the way to remember things, the way to remember things in natural is through repetitions like multiplication. Three times three is nine. Three times three is nine. You keep saying it until you're, there's enough track in your neuron tracking to get that, to remember that, to have a, a path towards it. Emotion like a car wreck or the first kiss that is attached to any kind of memory, it really secures itself and is a wonderful way of remembering things. And then, of course, attaching other information, also the way we association helps to, to remember things. In dreams, there's nothing attached to your dreams. You In the subconscious area, if there's an emotion in your dream while you're waking up, it's going to spill over into your conscious and a chance to remember it. <clears throat> and so there are different things that alert you to dreams that could be from God. And that's what I'm trying to talk to you today about. How do I know if my dream when I wake up is from the Lord? How do I know it's just not an, a spilling over of my emotions from yesterday, a difficulty I had? What, how do I know that the Lord has given me that dream? Is I dream so much, so much during the night. And not all dreams are from God. So how do I can recognize? Well, when you wake up and you're these emotions, and I believe God will give you the emotions sometimes in that dream, just to help alert, to spill it over. And then you have to repeat it, whether through thinking about it, whether talking about it, writing it down, into your conscience to remember the detail or the different parts of that dream to get the full benefit of it. I usually recommend to record it in your phone or a recording equipment of some kind, or write it down as quick as you can. That way you can see it, and that's how you, how you would recognize it. Now, how do I know it's from God or not? Well, there is different ways as we walk with the Lord. It comes from a, a definite relationship for, for starters. If you know the Lord, you'll know it will just, it will gel, it will witness, it will have an inner somehow impact in your spirit. But there were those that were not Christians that, for example, like the Magi, how did they know when they had dreams not to go back the way they came? How did Nebuchadnezzar know when he had a dream about a statue that that was important from God? How did the Pharaoh know when there's two dreams about the sheaves and the cows? How did he know? Because when he woke up, there was some emotion, there was something attached to it that made him feel. This is or made them feel. I need to pay attention. Joseph, the mother, the father of, of who fathered or played the role of father for Jesus, he would not marry Mary, but he had a dream. And he was so used to recognizing the pattern in his dreaming. He also had a dream to go take the child and Mary to Egypt. He had a dream to come back. So dreams were mega tools used in his life to hear from God in his ways, learned that pattern. That's what I'm trying to impart to you. So when you wake up to know from God, you just have a knowing, a sense, an emotion, something is it's impactful. The dream was very impactful. And usually people will wake up and they'll, they'll tell you all these strange dreams, the one, one that they remember so close to waking, or that it made such an impact or such a strange effect on their lives. And those are the things I would be looking for. If you are certainly believing God for information, you can begin to make sure. And if you are used to getting dreams, if you're a person that's used to dreaming and God speaks to you in dreams, then you ought to know that when you have a dream, God is speaking. There are several people, prophets I know that God uses in dreams. They're very much dreamers. I one dream I'm think one particular prophet I'm thinking of that uh, it has told me on occasions you'll go and stay in someone's house and then you'll dream things that are pertaining to those people that they'll it'll live right into that dream. It's like God speaks to him in dreams. Now it does say in numbers that God says if there's a prophet amongst you, I speak to him in visions and dreams. Not so with Moses, I speak to him plainly. So dreams and visions are definitely a language of the prophetic or God speaking, no no doubt. As when the Holy Ghost came, Peter quotes Joel and he says that your young men will see visions, old men will dream dreams. And that is from the Lord. So God wants to. It's an ongoing communication. So when I know how when I know it's from God, when you have that sense or something bothers you or you can't forget it, it keeps bothering, it keeps repeating itself in your mind. Your mind is full of this thing as it goes along. And that's and that is what I'm what we begin to identify the dream as from God or not. 
and we begin to learn the pattern in or the sense we have when you wake up. I, God gave me a dream last night. Don't know what it means or who it's for, but I can recognize it's not just me dreaming from and too much pizza. I hope this helped you today. Please do not hesitate to ask us questions or make comments down below. We will get to you. I'm, I'm actually replying at this particular time to someone who asked this question. So, how do you know if a dream is from God? And that hope that helped you. If you're not sure, you can still write us some more. We're so glad to be able to serve and help you in this way. I'm Ed Trout. I hope you subscribe to this and tell your friends about it. And then like us. Like us, please. And then also make sure that you click the box for the notifications. We appreciate you. May God bless you. Make His light to shine upon you.